G'day, my name's Doug Bell and I'm the Everyday Sales Mentor. You got a pen? Let's talk about pens and business cards today as part of our time management collection. So how many times in life have we been somewhere and we need to get some information or give some information about ourselves? Invariably, someone will ask you, oh, it's nice to meet you, Doug. Do you have a pen so I can write your name down and also your email address? Now, think about that. My email address is doug at theeverydaysalesmentor.com.au. It's got to be a big bit of paper and they'll ask you 15 times how to spell every and how do you say mentor. That's the key to it. If I hand over a business card, it makes things so much quicker. So how do we go about this? Well, I always put business cards in a particular place. It's always in my top pocket. Look, there's one for there, for example. So the point of it is, it's a natural reflex move. Someone asks me for my information. I can say, yeah, no worries. Bang, into that pocket. Out comes the business card. You hand it across and you save all this mucking around. You save some time and they go, oh, that's good, Doug. That's where your information is. Thanks, mate. I'll give you a call. So the key to having a great business card is quality. It's your first chance to make a first impression on paper. They look at you, you're looking good, you hand this over and they think, oh, this guy's pretty switched on. It's great quality. That's the point. Spend the money, top quality, get it done right, minimal information. But the good thing is they have your details correctly. There's no excuse to say, oh, I couldn't remember your phone number. They've got them right there in front of you. Now here's another tip, with your business cards, throw them to the wind like seedlings, they're fantastic. I used to go to lunch, I'd put all my workbooks on the table, I'd haphazardly sprinkle a couple of business cards on the top, and people while they were waiting for their lunch or their sandwiches being made, they'd say, oh, geez, Doug, can I have one of those? And I'd give away a business card. Great stuff, and invariably, one out of say 20 or 30, I'd get a call, but remember, they're worth five cents each. What a great way to advertise yourself and your product. So in summing up, organise good quality business cards, it's a first impression. It'll save you some time because you're not trying to find a pen and write things down. Now my final tip is, when you receive a business card, don't put it back in the same pocket, put it somewhere else on your body or your purse. Because one day, as I have done, you'll pull your card out, hand it to someone, and they'll say, you're from Sam Sewerage Solutions, and you'll say, no I'm not, my name's Doug Bell, and I'm the Everyday Sales Mentor. We'll see you next time.